In this video, rabbits and foxes are introduced onto an island such that dr by dt is 6r take away f and df by dt is 3r plus 2f, where initially r is 100 and f is 160. Show that over time there will approximately be the same number of rabbits and foxes. OK, so let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So I'm going to take equation 2, I'm going to differentiate it with respect to 2, as with respect to t rather. So we're going to get d2f by dt squared is equal to 3 dr by dt plus 2 lots of df by dt. The dr by dt I'm going to replace with the 6r take away f. So d2f by dt squared is equal to 3 lots of this. So 18r take away 3f plus the 2 df by dt that I've got there. Now I need to replace out the r. So I'm going to go to um, this equation number 2 and I'm going to rearrange it so that d2f by dt squared is equal to 18 lots of. So rearranging this to get r equals will be one third of df by dt uh, take away the 2f. OK, we've got the takeaway 3f there. We've got the 2df by dt here. So d2f by dt squared is equal to 18 lots of 1 third is 6. So 6df by dt. Then we've got 6 lots of minus 2f, so minus 12f. Take away the 3f that we've got there, plus the 2df by dt. So d2f by dt squared... Um, moving everything onto the left-hand side of the equation, we've got take away 8df by dt. We've got the minus 12f, take away 3f, so plus 15f is equal to 0. OK, so the auxiliary equation there would be m squared take away 8m plus 15 equals 0. This factorises 2m... Um, take away 3, m take away 5 equals 0, so m is equal to 3, or m is equal to 5. So the complementary function, well, this general solution to this differential equation should be f is equal to um, c1 e to the 3t plus c2 e to the 5t. OK, so I know that initially f is 160. So 160 will be equal to c1 plus c2. OK, right, now I need to substitute it in to one of the two differential equations. Really, it's the one with r equals, which I got here, didn't I? So I can substitute it into this bit here. So r is equal to one third of df by dt. So I'm going to need to differentiate it first. So df by dt is equal to 3c1 e to the 3t plus 5c2 e to the 5t. Now I can differentiate, uh, sorry, substitute it into that one. So r equals one third of the df by dt, 3c1 e to the 3t plus 5c2 e to the 5t. Take away two lots of the f, so take away two lots of that. c1 e to the 3t, take away two lots of the c2 e to the 5t. And that's all, have, that's all got the one third out the front. So r is equal to um, one third times the 3, so c1 e to the 3t plus 5 thirds c2 e to the 5t. Uh, take away 2 thirds c1 e to the 3t. Uh, take away 2 thirds c2 e to the 5t. OK, so I can simplify this a little bit, can't I? I've got the c1, take away the 2 thirds, so 1 third c1 e to the 3t. I've got the 5 thirds, take away 2 thirds, so that leaves me with just 1, so plus c2 e to the 5t. Now I know that initially r's got to be 100. So when t is 0, r is 100. So 100 has got to be equal to 1 third c1 plus the c2. 
Right, I've got this equation up here. Let's call that equation 3, and I'm going to call that equation 4. So solving those two simultaneous equations. OK. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. So we get 1, 1, and 160. 1 third, 1 and 100. And we get 90 and 70. So C1 is 90. C2 is 70. OK. Right, let's remove this. Give myself a bit of space. So F, the number of foxes, is 90 e to the 3t plus 70 e to the 5t. And the number of rabbits is one third times C1, so 30 e to the 3t plus 70 e to the 5t. So they're my two equations. Show that over time there will approximately be the same number of rabbits and foxes. So I would need um, the number of foxes divided by the number of rabbits to be essentially 1, as t tends to infinity. So that's equal to 90e to the 3t plus 70e to the 5t over 30e to the 3t plus 70e to the 5t. OK, let's divide um, top and bottom by e to the 5t. So I'm going to get 90e to the minus 2t plus 70 over uh, 30 e to the minus 2t plus 70. And this will tend to 70 over 70, which is 1. Give myself a bit more space. Which is equal to 1 as t tends to infinity, because the e to the minus 2t and the e to the minus 2t on the top and bottom will tend to 0. OK, so that answers this question, which shows that over time there will approximately be the same number of rabbits and foxes, because if I divide the number of foxes by the number of rabbits, then that tends to 1 as t tends to infinity.